Hello, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be taking you through CQG's newly released app for iOS, simply named CQG. This is essentially the same platform as CQG Desktop, but it has been optimized for the iOS platform. If you are looking for tutorials and guides on CQG Desktop, feel free to check out our dedicated playlist for that platform. This video will cover a few topics, ranging from how to download the app, to where to find key features on the platform. So to start off, we'll first need to download the app. Head over to the iOS app store on your Apple device and in the search bar, type in CQG. After you have searched it, you may run into a slight problem. If you are using an iPad as I am, the app will not show up right away. You will need to head to the top left of the app store window and click on filters, click on support, and then iPhone only. And although it may be listed as an iPhone only app, it will work just fine on iPads. Now that your CQG app is showing in the marketplace, simply download it and wait for the installation to finish. Once your app has fully installed, feel free to open it up and I will begin to show you an overview of the app. Right off the bat, you should notice that you can log in with a live trading account. This is very useful for traders who like to trade on the go and like to trade on their mobile devices. So if you do happen to use CQG desktop at home, feel free to log in with your live account on the CQG iOS app. For users looking to demo the app, CQG makes this very simple. Unlike CQG desktop, demo users are not required to create an account. Just click on the free tab and log in. Now once you first log in, the first tab that will be displayed is a quote board. This is where you'll find all the different contracts available. To the right of that, the tab labeled BS is where your orders are listed. This includes working orders, filled orders, canceled orders, or all orders. The tab to the right of the orders labeled LS is where you'll find your positions being displayed. And to the right of that, the tab labeled with the dollar symbol is essentially the equivalent of the account summary widget if you are familiar with CQG Desktop. Here you will find account balances being displayed, margins, and profits and losses. It is worth noting that you can scroll up and down in this section as well, so be wary of that. You'll notice that if you click on the drop down menu under the word account, you can also select the account you're working with which is the account being displayed in the account summary page. And for our final tab, we have a settings page. On this page, you can customize buy and sell colors, price moving colors, and your language. So now that I briefly went over all the tabs, I'd like to backtrack for a second and go back to the quote board page. Now, although you may not see them at first, there are many key features hidden underneath this page, and I felt that I needed to show you. First up, we have the symbol list. To gain access to the symbol list, click on the drop down tab where it says American Demo. And this will bring up the entire list of symbols for you to use at your disposal. And you are free to scroll up and down on this page as there are many symbol lists available. To create our own custom list, click on the new list tab on the bottom of the page. In here, we can search up our custom list for my example, I will be naming this custom and I'll be choosing the E-mini and the crude light contracts. And then if I click on my list, it will become active in the quote board page. Now we can choose a contract we'd like to trade with by simply clicking on the contract. And if you do click on those specific contracts, you'll notice right away that your charts will pop up and your dome charts, your ticket windows, your orders, your position, and more important details about these contracts will pop up. And if you take a look at the top of your window, I'm easily switching between my E-mini and my crude light contract by simply clicking on the contract. This will adapt your platform to the specific contract you're clicking on. The quote board page is where you'll be doing all of your trading within this platform. So it is very important that you get familiarized with this section of the app. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.